do you ever hear of anybody claiming to be a Davidic servant? <laughs> they come along about once a month, you know, and but they have no clue what it means to be to fulfill a role like that. They don't have a, it's just a pride thing. Everybody wants to be important and people think they're going to be some great one and they're not. They need to seriously repent, anybody who goes that direction and humble themselves before the Lord. And that's why I don't get into who it is ever. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't concern me. It starts, it starts getting off on a tangent. And what's the point of that? So it's it's more this this role that we're preparing ourselves to identify instead of uh, you telling people who this person is. Yeah, right? don't believe me. I give you the tools. I show you the scriptures. I, I teach what Isaiah says in very plain terms with tons and tons of references, tons of literary evidences. It's the literary aspect that people are not used to. We need to disabuse, disabuse our minds of those things and come to understand the truth as it is in the scriptures. Not what we've heard, not, not our opinions, not somebody's opinion, but what the scriptures actually say, what Isaiah is actually saying. And then finally, once we start understanding it, then we say, you know, why didn't I understand that before? Why didn't I see that before? It's all there. <laughs> Great. Well, and I think we'll, we'll learn a lot more about this at the conference. This is kind of, going to give people a little bit of a taste of, of what, what you can learn and why you need to, to learn this. So I, I hope um, that this inspires people to come. Um, yeah. For one thing at the conference in, in my talk, I, um, I, I totally um, put to rest the whole notion that Jesus Christ is the servant. There's no scriptural, there's no scriptural uh, backing for that. Um, Jesus is never called a servant. He's he takes upon himself the form of a servant, as Paul says, but that's a specific role of Savior that he undertakes. He was from the beginning the Son of God, not a servant. And I show that in plain terms from the scriptures so that you cannot possibly deny it. I, I come at it every which way in my talk <clears throat> and just simply puts, puts that whole notion to rest once and for all. One of the other uh, assumptions that people in the church make is that the servant was Joseph Smith and that that's already yeah. the great and marvelous Lord has already been done and that, that he was servant. Are you going to address that? <laughs> well, um, me not specifically, but um, the book of Isaiah is not about the time of Joseph Smith. It's an end time scenario, as I plainly show from Isaiah's literary structures. It's in my books. It's been there for a long time. And again, those who make those assumptions have not searched the scriptures to know. Um, what, what was the other part of your question? Um, well, the great, the marvelous work in the wonder, it's done. Oh, yeah. Again, if you'll analyze that all through the Book of Mormon, you'll see that that was not the restoration of the gospel through the prophet Joseph Smith, but the restoration of the gospel through the prophet Joseph Smith was called the beginning or the commencement or the foundation of the great anomalous work, but not the great anomalous work itself, which is the coming, the rest is the restoration of all things. It's the restoration of all 12 tribes of Israel. And they come from dispersion from a worldwide, you know, condition of exile and, and covenant curses. And they come to Zion in a time of worldwide destruction. And God's servants of that day bring them out. The 144,000 do that job. Again, why, have, why are people not up on that? I have no idea why they can go back to something as ridiculous. As, and, and Jesus in 35, 21 talks about his servant quoting Isaiah, again, in an end time context, the context of Israel's restoration. Now, those people have their heads in the sand. I'm sorry, but they need to get them out of the sand and read what the scriptures are, are saying. And make, you know, connect the dots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, thank you. I hope that uh, everybody will come and this will inspire you to learn a little bit more about this Davidic role and, and Avraham can teach us even more. So please click on the link to register for our virtual event on August 26th. Thank you so much for being here with us, Avraham. Thank you, Brooke. Hope to see you there. <laughs>